What is going on everyone? Welcome back to, well, not really the vlog, but living 4x4, finally. Um, it's getting to the stage where we can maybe go four-wheel driving soon. So Sam recently did a one-take walk around of his car. There's a lot of changes on my car over lockdown, so I'm going to take you through everything that is on it. Obviously, we've got it up on the forklift at the moment, just because who doesn't like a good forklift flex shot? Um, basically, I'm doing that because it just got its new suspension in it. It's got a two-inch lift. Um, Lavelle's springs in the front and it's got parabolics in the rear. Um, they're only rated at 250, but for what I'm doing, it's actually kind of all right. Um, as you can see, it actually doesn't flex too bad for a troop carrier. It's kind of on similar levels as to what it was before the lift, but that's because the suspension was absolutely stuffed. And with this, it's actually not leaning as much. It's flexed in the same amount, but the whole car isn't leaning as much, which is good. Um, but basically that's why it's up on here. I just thought it would look nice. It's not a flex monster, but whatever. <laughs> so we'll start up the front. Basically, as you all should know, all bar work is done by Razzler. Um, it's all custom. So this is a custom front bar um, with their custom sliders, which or scrub bars, which come down into the slider. And the main part of this is there's no join here. They've made this uh, a single piece. So the join is up here the bar slides in about that far, so this is super strong all the way through here. I can drop the whole car on there, which as you can see, happens a lot, um, and it's not gonna bend at all. Now, we'll just do all the bar work. So if we, I might drop it down now. Actually, we'll just have a look under here. So this is the, the Lavelle Springs. This is two inch formula shocks. I probably do need some slightly longer shocks, um, but for now, they're, they do the job well, they're big bore shocks. I had them in it before I put in the lift. Um, and it, it's very comfortable. I do have to say the parabolics are incredible on the road. The, it's like driving a coiled car in the rear on the road. It's just, it's night and day difference. Um, I'm gonna drop it down because it's gonna make it easier to do a walk around, but. Okay. So the UHF, I don't actually know what it is. I got given it when I first bought the car. I fully can't remember. Um, it's, a, it's GME on the inside. I don't know what the aerial is. Um, it's a GME aerial, but I can't tell you exactly what it is. Um, so steady lights, steady carbons, thanks to Tim from, you know, one of the Geelong boys, 4.8. Um, you will remember him. But yeah, the steady carbons are a massive upgrade over the stock headlights. Um, the winch that I run, is a grande. Um, it's not a dominator. It's not anything fancy. It's a grande that was out of Sam's old car. Um, so it's still going strong that he bought for like 300 bucks like four years ago or something. Um, and it's still working. Although I did snap the rope, so now it's got a Sabre rope in there, which I haven't used yet because it's been locked down. Um, so tires, we've got the 33 inch Razor Mud Terrains. As you know, we run them basically on everything. They're just a good tire on and off-road. Um, I'm probably worn them down a little bit and it's time to upgrade to some other tires. Same, I'm gonna stick with the razors, but just get some different sizing. Um, you probably all know where that's going. Um, the snorkel is just the standard one that comes on all the old trippies, just the safari one. Um, it works fine. So, coming to the new stuff at the rear, as you can see, it looks very different. Um, it looks very nice. We finally fixed up the rear end and Razzler did their thing. So we've got the rear scrub bars, which are very important for wagons um, if you want to try and keep your body nice and clean. So then they come down. They put this bar here. They normally do sheet metal all the way, but they said there's a possibility that I might bend that. So they put tubular in and reinforced it with eight mil steel. So that's not going anywhere. Um, then we've got the, the Razzler rear bar, which is just quality all around. Dual, um, spare tire swing away, which goes up to 35s and a twin jerry can holder. Um, if we get a close up of this, please. New stickers, everyone. On the website, living4x4.com, we're talking touring capability stickers. They are now available and along with the small living 4x4 stickers and the banners and shirts and singlets. Um, hoodies are gonna have to wait until winter, just so everyone knows. 
Um, so that's pretty much the rear bar. They, the main bit that I get excited about is they took the tow bar off and they integrated it into the rear bar. So now this is level with the chassis. So I've got way more clearance out the back. Um, proper recovery points as well. Just better reverse lights, brake lights, indicators, everything about it is just way better. Um, what else is new? Got a new roof rack. As you know, I, I never ran one because I didn't like them. Um, but I decided I need something to mount stuff on, like solar panels, um, awnings, lights, that kind of thing. So that's an OCAM rack. Um, sits nice and low. It looks like it's high on the side, but the roof actually curves like this. So in the middle, it's quite low. Um, yet to really put anything on it. As I said, it's just to mount stuff to. It looks good though. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the bar work, I think. So I've got an emu wing going. So this just opens up quite easy to access the fridge. That's not the fridge that will be staying there. Um, that's just the temporary fridge. We'll go over the interior soon. Um, so basically that's just a good way to utilize the area here in the back of the tree view because obviously it's two door, three door. So you, to get used this area is really difficult. Um, that just makes it easier. I probably need to buy some more. Um, so the suspension in the rear, it's the two inch parabolic. So if you don't know what parabolics are, they're nothing like, well, they're similar to leaf springs, but they, they work very differently. It's actually tapered metal. So it's thinner on the outside and gets thicker in the middle. So I've got a three leaf and basically as it comes down, it gets stronger as it goes down. So that provides a softer, softer ride and more flex. Um, so I haven't really had much of a chance to test them out but on the road so far, they're really nice. Um, it's just got the standard shackles in it at the moment. I am gonna put extended shackles in because it sits slightly on the back, especially once there's more weight in the back, it'll come down. But right now it sits nearly level, but yeah, with more weight, it'll come down. Um, I don't have a rear locker. I've got a front locker. I run the TJM air lockers, the pro lockers. Um, well, locker, but I'm gonna get another one for the rear because as you know, Toyota diffs, useless, especially the LSDs. Um, so that's about it really. So the interior, there's not much going on. It's messy, um, but basically it's a standard dash. I just painted it black so it looks nicer. Can you see? There we go. Yeah, so that, I just painted the dash black so it looks nicer. It's just got a double DIN head unit um, to run the speakers, which we'll show you at, at the end. Um, but apart from that, the interior is just basic and standard. Um, so there's not much going on in there. But you will notice it doesn't sound like a tin can because it's got sound deadening all through it now on the floor, the sides, and on the roof. So it's actually nice and quiet in there. Um, Another big thing that has just happened is it's got a brand new transmission and transfer case and clutch. Um, basically, it was just shot. It was worn so bad. I took it in to get it fixed the other week um, and they pulled it out and they're like, you may as well just get a new one for the price. So it's got a whole bunch of shiny stuff under there. It's got a box out of an FZ. So the petrol version of this, it's slightly stronger. It's got slightly longer gearing. Um, so it's brand new under there, so it feels super nice. Uh, basically the whole drive line has been replaced now in this car, because um, I've done the rear diff and the front diff multiple times and all the brakes and everything. So it's practically brand new underneath. Um, yeah, I think that's basically it for the outside. I'll take you through the drawer setup that we made. So lots of you have seen this on the videos. It's pretty basic. I haven't done anything since the videos, but don't mind the mattresses. That's just to get me by until I get an actual mattress because I want to get a proper inner sprung mattress. This is just because it can be there. So I made this at home with my dad. Um, it's just, it's on Teflon slides. It's really basic. Um, this is the big drawer. There's still nothing in it. It's 1500 long. Um, I need to put in dividers and everything and make all that nice. Um, I still haven't put the clear coat on, but we'll get there. This is, 
This is going to be the food drawer. So we've got our little fold-out table. This will be Mesmate, so you can wipe that down. So that'll be like the pantry. Um, that'll be tools. The other one will be tools and spare parts. Um, so that's super simple. Then obviously we've got the all-important travel buddy, which I recommend everyone gets. And then what I call travel buddy mods. We've got the insulated door and some trays from Somerville Metalworks, um, which is good. I, again, haven't had a chance to use that because it's been knocked down. Um, that tank, that's an AccuAir tank. So under my bonnet, I've got a belt-driven compressor. So it pumps out heaps of air and then obviously pumps it to that tank, which then runs my lockers. I can just plug in my hoses to pump up my tires and everything. Um, again, haven't used it too much because it's been locked down basically this entire year but it works well. That's just a 40 litre angle that's sitting up the back there. That's gonna be swapped out for a 60 litre angle. It's wider and lower, so it'll actually sit flush with the window. Um, and then up here, this is, this is just the, the fun bit of the Troopy. Um, it's the party box. Basically, again, built this with my dad at home. We've got two 10 inch subs on either side, 500 watt subs, and then we've got two six by nines, which are angled down so they shoot out the back of the car. Um, I just thought it was a good area to utilize up, up in this roof because um, it goes quite high up there. So it's a, the box is 270 thick. So there's a lot of room up there. And then on the other side, there's plenty of headroom for when you're in there. But basically that just shoots the sound out the back. So when you pull up to camp, you just open up your doors and you've got a stereo shooting out the back of the car. I'm yet to sort out the door cards. I'm going to have like fold down tables and all that jazz, but Again, I just haven't got around to it, and more speakers. Um, and I've got a cool head, head roof, roof lining, head lining? I don't know. That's gonna be quite cool in there. Um, so just watch out for that. Um, apart from that, I think that's pretty much it. There's still a lot to do on this car. Um, it's a lot newer than the other cars that are on the videos. It's just recently kind of been updated this year, which sucks because it's been locked down and we haven't been able to test anything. Um, so the fuel tanks are just standard. There's 180 litres of fuel on board. I don't really have a reason to get more than that. Um, but maybe I'll replace the rear 90 litre with a 180 litre. Um, I don't really know. What else is there? Do you know? No? Um, Basically, obviously, we've got to give a huge shout out to everyone who helps me out on this car because without everyone and all the companies working on it, like, there's no way it would be where it is. Um, so we've got Razzler, Treadworks, and ProWire. They're the main, the main three that really help this come together. Razzler obviously making it look very sexy with all the custom bar work on it. Um, so I just want to get out and use it because I've got so many mods that I've done over lockdown and I haven't been able to go camping, four driving, nothing. Um, so hopefully we'll be back out soon. Um, I guess I'll show people under the hood. Not that there's anything to look at. It's pretty much, it's like Sam's. People will be severely underwhelmed, even more underwhelmed with this one because it doesn't have a turbo. So, So there you go, the powerhouse of the 1HZ. <laughs> no turbo, um, making a whole 96 kilowatts 20 years ago. Um, so this whole mess, like Sam's car, is gonna be pulled out by ProWire and completely redone because it's, it's bad. Um, he has nothing to do with this. Every time he has to do something, he's like, we need to fix this. Um, so basically, you got your starter battery, your deep cell, that's all I run. I'm gonna have a lithium in the back and just sort out all of this mess because it's pretty bad, but not as bad as Sam's car, I might say, but it works sometimes. Um, but yeah, honestly, apart from that, there's nothing under there. After the big desert trip, when I drowned this car in that very bad bog hole, it got a whole new cooling system in it, if, if that counts as a mod, um, which I don't think it does. It's just fixing yet more broken stuff. But now it actually looks like a proper four-wheel drive, I reckon. 
with the lift. Um, the lift has changed the whole look of this, look of this car. Um, excited to get out soon and get on the tracks. Um, it's been killing us. And yeah, that's the troop carrier. There's not a copious amount of mods to it. Um, it just looks really cool with the bar work. Um, that's probably my favorite thing about this car. Um, and the speaker box, that always makes my day driving to work and it's just vibrating every car next to it. Um, oh, the exhaust. The exhaust is just cut out the big muffler. It's got a small three chambered muffler in it and it's just routed out the side of the back. That, that's it, there's no, nothing else done to it. Um, so it's just the stock thing all the way through it until it hits that rear muffler. Um, but yeah, I can't really tell you what the future mods are because I don't really know. There is a lot to do though. Like I want bigger tires, some play tires, rear locker, um, sort out the interior. Um, and I would like to fix up the paint because the paint has seen much better days um, and do some other fancy custom little things. So. That's the troop carrier. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, and hopefully we'll be back on the track soon. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Catch you guys there.